All right, uh, I want to show you now how to import data in R. Uh, I've flipped over now and I'm now working in R Studio. And let me just give you kind of like a brief tour of R Studio. Uh, so in R Studio, we have typically four panels. You can rearrange them, but this is how they look by default. So in the top left here is where we have our um, code. So for example, I have open a file called 02importdata.r. Um, and I'm going to add some code there shortly. The bottom left is our console. That's where you actually see um, the same thing that we saw. And actually, I can just even bring that up. If you remember in the previous video, when I showed you the R console, that's this right here. So basically, R Studio, I'm going to exit this, uh, adds on to R itself by adding these other panes. So up here in the top right is our environment pane. Um, when we do import data, we're gonna actually see it show up here. And I should say each of these have additional tabs um, for other things that you can do in these panes. I'm just gonna show you kind of the main um, tab that we'll use. So then down in the bottom right is all of our files in the project that we're working in. So I have created a project called data analysis in R evaluate. Um, here and so I have all of these things uh, in my um, in my project here. So first thing I'm going to do uh, when I uh, want to import some data is I need to load some packages because I want to use a function, so a particular piece of code from a package in order to import my data. So I'm going to run uh, this line of code, which is just says library tidyverse. Uh, if you remember from the last lesson, or the last video, I should say, I um, said that the tidyverse is a collection of packages. We're going to actually use uh, the package called readr to import our data, but we can also just say library tidyverse. I could also, if I just wanted to get readr, I could do library readr like that. Um, but I'll just do library tidyverse. And this, of course, assumes that I have actually installed it. If I haven't installed the package, I would need to do install packages tidyverse. Um, so I'm, again, I'm not going to run that code because I've already installed it, but that's what you would need to do. OK, so I run this, and you can see down here now it's giving me a message um, that it has attached several packages. It just means it's loaded packages. And you can see one of the ones that it's loaded is read R. Now I'm going to work on importing my data. When I look in my files here, you can see I have a folder called data. I've created this uh, previously, and then I put in here a uh, CSV file that's just called NHANES. This comes from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey here in the US. Um, it is a data set that combines uh, interviews along with physical examinations. And the, the data set that I'm using is 10,000 observations that is um, nationally representative of the United States. Um, so I'm going to bring this in. And the way it works in R is you have CSV files or any, any data format. And those live here in this bottom right pane. But I can't actually work with them until I uh, run code. So the function that I'm going to use is read CSV, read underscore CSV. And then with code, uh, with functions, you always put open parentheses, close parentheses. And then in quotes, I need to list the path to the data. So it's in the data folder, just as a reminder, data, okay, slash nhanes.csv. Now the other thing that I need to do, I could run this and it shows me down here uh, the, what happens. But in order to work with it, I need to do this. I need to assign it to an object that I create. So by having this thing here that's called the assignment operator, and then typing the name nhanes, um, and I, when I run this code again, now I have saved the result of that code to an object called nhanes, to what's called a data frame in this case. So the CSV lives externally, or it lives as part of my project, as part of the files, but it's only, I can only work with it in R after I run this code to import it. So at this point now, I have my NHANES data. And I can look over here and see it says, OK, 10,000 observations of 22 variables. And when I clicked on it here, I can now actually 
um, just scroll through in the same way you would look at your data in Excel or whatever other uh, tool. You can't actually edit anything here, to be clear. We're just looking at it because if you want to edit it, we'll have to do that with code. Um, so I can scroll across to see the, the variables and I can also uh, scroll down to see all the observations.